TIFU by comparing my GF to a Lamborghini. OK hear me out. Me and my GF have been dating for six months so far. Love her a lot. Here's the thing. If I see a good looking girl, I will stare for a hot second. Not enough time for anyone to really notice I was staring but this one time. My GF noticed. I may stare for just a second but that doesn't mean anything. I'd still much rather have my GF than any girl I look at. She notices and says are you staring at that girl? No. Just a glance. What do you think she's hot? I mean she's not bad but if doesn't matter cause I wouldn't want anyone else but you. If that's the case, then you wouldn't be staring at other girls. It's like a Lamborghini. I have a Tesla and I love that car and wouldn't want any other car but if I saw a Lamborghini on the street, I'm going to stare at it. Doesn't mean I want it. It's just cool to look at it. Oh so you're comparing me to a Lamborghini? No I'm not Co. I know what you meant. Well it's night and I'm in my man cave writing this fuck up. TLDR caught staring at a girl and my girl got pissed. We're comparing the other girl to a Lamborghini. Tell me you are a teenager without telling me you are a teenager. If it makes you feel better. I think my husband called me a Lexus while we were dating. Good looking. Dependable. Not too expensive. You're perfect for each other. Girl that blows up and escalates way too fast and a guy that can diffuse a situation about as well. As an average person can diffuse a bomb. You called your GF a Tesla. At least refer to her as a Porsche or Ferrari when comparing to a Lamborghini just make sure to name her her favorite out of the bunch. Wow. Communication can be tricky sometimes. But I hope you two can work it out and understand each other's perspectives. Relationships can be challenging. Right? I don't understand why she didn't understand that you were comparing her to a Tesla. It's clear. And it seems that like a Tesla. Your GF could explode at any moment. So good comparison. I wish someone compared me to a Lamborghini. You told your girl she was a Tesla and you were staring at a Lamborghini. My man. You are fucked. Paul Newman was asked in an interview if he ever cheated on his wife. Joanne Woodward. He famously answered. Why go out for a hamburger when you have steak at home? He thought he was complimenting her and being funny. She never let him live it down. As Woodward once explained. Every time I hear that line. I want to burst. The reason for that is simple. Being compared to a steak made Woodward feel like a piece of meat. Y'all are getting it backwards. He compared his girl to a Tesla and the rando to a Lambo. I'd be pissed lol. First off. I'm not a car. Second. If I am a car then why am I the objectively shittier car? Brew don't get caught staring at another girl. And if you do. Don't double down trying to justify it. That's relationships 101. You literally called her worse than the other girl. You dumb. Well, she is not a Toyota for sure. Toyotas are reliable and forgiving of drivers' mistakes. It's funny. The car comparison. Girl who is overly jealous and the man cave where you were sent to buy the OLLLL ball and chain. Im getting that 70 show vibes. ITT men who are absolutely clueless about women. Noooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
Women can't exist in public without being objectified. And other women are only cool if they join in. Then we wonder why women go as far as risky procedures that can kill them. In a bid to simply be valued as the human beings they are. And yet, not one word about evaluating men's attractiveness at all times of the day. No concept of it being a standard that men go above and beyond to look supernaturally hot at all times. Must be nice. You called her a Tesla and the girl you were looking at a Lambo. Smooth. I literally did compare her to a car. Not sure where your confusion is coming from. So you told essentially your GF you're only with her because you can't afford a better looking one. Because that's what the car analogy suggests. Translation in girl's language by the way. I am a she. What you said was. I have a Tesla your girlfriend. If I see a Lamborghini I will stare other girl. Now. What is the best. More exclusive. Most wanted car. A Tesla or a Lamborghini. Sir I think you have to apologize your girlfriend and avoid comparisons like that where you. Inadvertently say she is not the best. More exclusive girl on earth. Can we stop comparing women to objects? It's even worse. You compared her to a shitty Tesla. You turned women into cars to make an analogy to help your girlfriend feel better. Yeah you fucked up. Women already feel like objects in this society. Good job there. Have you considered a job in bomb disposal? Men and women both look at attractive people they encounter. We are hardwired for it. Lots of unnecessary drama caused by people taking offense at something normal. I'm choosing a Lamborghini over a Tesla every day of the week. Don't stare at women. E.W. You aren't entitled to the pleasure their existence provides you. And women aren't objects. Which is absolutely what you suggest when you compare them to cars. It's sexism and you don't even seem to notice. Do better. Mates just told her shush is more practical than attractive. So is she a hot Italian? Or an electric douchebag? Why would you compare your GF to the Tesla and not the Lambo? I mean if you're gonna compare her to an object then you may as well do it in the best way possible. To mitigate the damage instead of maximizing it. Not enough time for anyone to really notice I guarantee people notice. I learned at an early age never to utter a comparison of any kind to a woman. Even if you think you are being complimentary unamused. Brew. Everyone knows that a Ventador is much more good looking than any Tesla. I would be so pissed to be the Tesla. So you called your GF a Tesla and the other girl a Lamborghini. The fuck up wasn't I glanced at another girl it's that you didn't call your GF the Lamborghini and the other girl a lower value car. Like an infinity. That's my takeaway from this. Anyway. Own up to it that you looked. But the other girl definitely had less to offer. Open mouth smile. Op. If you said you had a Ferrari but a Lamborghini would have got a fleeting glance of admiration you. Might have got away with it. But you said you had a Tesla. You're lucky you still have a girlfriend. You absolute div. Who tf wants to be compared to a Tesla? Jesus. What are you a heathen? Learn some subtlety when ogling women. Stop comparing women to objects. Don't compare women to objects we're sick of it. You basically told her that she's the shittier car you can afford. And that other women are the Lambo you dream about but don't have the resources to acquire. That's insulting. Picking a car that's three ten times more expensive was, T your smartest move my dude. You basically have no understanding of women.
Anybody would be insulted to be compared to a Tesla. Cheaply made. Solus. Will spontaneously combust. You literally said she was a Tesla compared to a Lambo. What did you expect? Of course you will look at other women throughout your life. But when you are physically with your so. Keep your eyes in your damn head. It's a matter of respect. The thing is not that you looked at the other girl. It's that you're comparing her to a car and in the analogy. The random woman is the better car. To be honest if a man said that to me rather than have an argument we would have a breakup. Yeah comparing women to inanimate objects is not great. You definitely fucked up. I'd recommend doing some therapy and empathy training so this doesn't happen again. I'll never understand this. I'm a dude. And I legit never look at other women. My wife is the only woman I have eyes for. Every dude I've come across thinks I'm nuts. But I personally see it as the other way around. Person shrugging. My idiot BF just did the same shit by comparing his ex to a BMW and me to a Silverado. Stop doing this. Don't rub a neck around your girl if you know it's an issue. She wants to be the Lamborghini not a Tesla. You must tell her. You two should work out what's the issue that makes her think you looking at other women is a problem in the first place. Don't try to get rid of the symptoms. Heal the root. If I was caught doing that, I'd play it off by saying something like yeah. She had messed up teeth or yeah. Ugly shoes. Find out what she likes more than a Lamborghini and say she's that. Problemo solved. Red flags. I've had luck of dating by girls exclusively for the last seven years. With that I don't even need to notice the hot girl. My GF would point out hot girls so we could check him out together. This story is full of FUs. Lol that's amazing. I did the exact same thing and explained it the same way but maybe I explained it better since my wife didn't get that upset. I guess you two are either still rather young inexperienced in relationships or she is far too jealous. Being in a relationship does not mean you have no sexuality. It's ridiculous to pretend not to acknowledge that other people are attractive. Looking at someone is not infidelity. Book recommendation relationships for dummies. I recently found it at a festival that my woman checks out tits asses and anything else as much as I do. We did it all weekend. She's a keeper. Hear me out not hear me out. Shit like this makes me thankful for my wife. If she catches me peeking. It's because she was two and wanted to share the view. Let let me tell you something. She's noticed you looking before. She was just waiting on you to slip up again. She messed up. She's the Tesla in this metaphor. If you stared long enough for your girlfriend to notice then it was too long. How hard is it to be discreet and not leer at other women in front of your girlfriend? Creep. I think if you have any Tesla other than a plaid you will want to try the Lambo. You 12. Grow up. You are doing this in front of her for a reaction. I'd still much rather have my GF than any girl I look at. Important to distinguish between then and then. Grammar can save lives. I require a translation with Volvo and Saab. Shoulda pulled the old no I'm just noticing how you have better style than her or the I'm glad. You don't dress as trashy as her excuse. Yikes yeah in this day and age where we're trying to move away from treating women like objects. Making a comparison between her and an object people generally view as a trophy and a status symbol. Isn't exactly the best idea.
Even if it wasn't your intent I would just not do that. Man is posting directly from a TV show. AWOL Nation Run plays bombastically in the foreground. Bro this is what I don't get. Why are you staring at people? If you realize you're doing it. Don't. It makes everyone uncomfortable. And I guarantee you're not as slick as you think you are. This sounds exhausting. Maybe learn some subtlety. Stop acting and talking like a little child. Don't stare at people. Don't compare people to cars. Pro tip if you get caught looking. Have some criticism or platonic comment about the person ready to go. It'll defuse the GF immediately. That girl stepped in gum. Jesus look how big her hair is. Is that insert random name? Teslas aren't comfortable to sleep in. Better apologize for putting your foot in your mouth. But on another note it's perfectly natural to notice attractive people. She does it too. Probably just more discreetly. The fact you didn't say your mojo dojo casa house tells a lot. Clearly should have followed with no I'm comparing you to a Tesla. You don't ask for a menu if you're already full. That's pretty bad but not as bad as my dad calling my mom a Ford truck. This should be under am I the asshole? Cause yeah, you are an asshole. Men face with rolling eyes. Relationship or not. Staring at somebody like they're a piece of meat is disgusting. Please don't stare to the point that people around you start noticing it. None of this strikes me as you having any respect for women tbh. Not mature enough. Do not sweat it. Insecurity is the bane of all relationships. Get over it woman. So 10 year old me got a picture of your girlfriend instead of books at the school book fair. That's the closest I've gotten to a Lamborghini. Next time try you would look great in that dress or whatever she was wearing. Window shopping is fine. You're only human. My fiancé is the most beautiful woman I've ever met. But him a man. So. Yeah. I'd never act on it. That's the difference. Dude there's no good comparison you can draw between a Lamborghini and a Tesla. One is an Italian masterpiece the other well not so much. Does your GF look at other guys though? Better to just die than do what she's asking. Tell her you are keeping an eye out for any better options. For when the current model needs too much maintenance and no longer becomes fun to ride. S. But seriously. If she expects you to never look at another woman she's leaving in a dreamland. What next she tells you can't look at cute animals or men too. You just need to make it too often if this upsets her. And do a better job of convincing her you really like her. If that is not enough then by all means try and keep the relationship going but I feared it may be. Doomed. She sounds very insecure. Save yourself a lot of pain and find someone more grounded. Where you both can love each other and still appreciate beauty in all its forms. I've never dated anyone that couldn't debate the attractiveness of people that would catch our eyes. With me. I'd understand if someone wouldn't want to do that with their partner. But this shit just screams insecure and it's so unattractive imo. You're young. Dumb. And full of cum. I don't even understand where this is a tifu story. And tbh it looks made up. People argue. Couples argue harder than that.